And uh, first of all, I'll start out saying thank you guys for 500 subscribers. That is definitely a big milestone for me. Halfway to a thousand. We gotta hit that subscribe button and keep it going. Um, I think I'm at 512 um, subscribers at the moment. Um, but it rises and falls sometimes, you know, that's just how it is. But, anyways, um, you know, um, I mean, I, I will see if I can do something special for you guys. Um, but um, a giveaway, I will wait for that to a thousand subscribers. So, um, yeah, that is basically what I will do. So, anyways, um, again, thank you guys very much. I'm very happy for it. It is definitely something I'm very happy for, and it's an achievement um, by far. So, um, let's just get going on some updates on this tank because. The tank has been a mess in some time um, because I wanted some um, some uh, what is it called copper pots and amphipods pots to grow in this tank. Um, that is why I had the seagrass down here, um, you know. And I tried to grow it and stuff like that, and it went very well. And I got a lot of interesting things um, growing, like an amphipod that was like literally like four or five centimeters. It was crazy. It's rarely seen that you see so big amphipods. But anyways. Um, that um, piece of moss is actually behind here. Oh my god, something fell on the floor right there. But anyways, it is here in the back. Um, right behind all that, those snail shells and eggs and things like that. The moss is in there and got some lighting from some LED strips. Um, so I will, I will place the lighting differently in a couple of, of days. Um, but for now, that is fine, I think. Um, I hope it is at least. Um, anyways, so uh, let's get over some updates in this tank. Um, that was one of them, by the way. But um, the fish, let's get over them first. The fish are doing fine. I mean, they're doing amazing. These guys have been um, growing a lot. Like the chromas have gotten much bigger than uh, recently. Um, so they're getting bigger, and their blue coloration is just crazy right now. I mean, I have fed them with some different things and. They go all crazy on the food and get some really beautiful colors after that, so that's awesome. Um, I also got right here my my um, royal or purple um, and yellow dirty bag, my royal dirty bag. Um, I'm, I'm usually calling bicolor dirty bag, but you know, the bicolor dirty bag is doing amazing as well. Um, but what he did um, here for not very long ago he would take some sand underneath that moss, like this sand right here, right? And he would take it in his mouth, search through of any small like amphipods or copepods, then he would go up here to this acropora right there, and he would spit all out of all of the sand out, and it would land on the rocks. Um, so I took um, a Heinz ketchup, um, an empty one, and clean one, of course. I took one of those, filled them with water, water from the tank, and then I just blew. Um, it around the rocks and stuff like that, and all the same sand came out. I took the moss out, put it in the sun to make some uh, fi some cool fish grow in there. So I hopefully can get some mandarin fish. Um, that is what I try to achieve right now, some mand um, a mandarin dragon head. Um, I do have so many amphipods and copepods in this tank, it's crazy, so that is awesome. And I hope that I can um, definitely grow some, of, um, some more of them so I can get a mandarin very soon. So... Um, you know, the fish are doing fine and the, the corals are doing fine after I blew the sand away. They have all opened up and growing and stuff like that. So, you can see here that this Duncan coral now has about like um, 13 new heads. Yeah, guys, 13 new heads. It's amazing. This guy is growing like crazy. So, it has a total of about like... 16 or 17 heads um, and the rest of the heads will of course grow out um, the frog spawn um, is funny this this frog spawn is so weird like this side of the co the middle and the, the right side of this frog spawn is growing like crazy then the ones that were over here though those have basically died um, I don't know why it's, it's kind of weird but the other ones don't die it might be because it's stinging itself um, that's the only thing I really can come um, uh, I really can like twist my mind around that 
because I, I can't think of any other way that it has died. Um, so you know, I don't know what what really happened there. The 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 finger leather is spreading out more, um, and you know it's big and fluffy as usual. It's looking beautiful right now. Um, the sea bay is doing fine as well. You know, growing as usual, um, growing a lot actually. And uh, sometimes it shrinks to a small size at night. Um, it's a new behavior that I've seen. Like it becomes like an onion. It's it's kind of cool. Um, but I've read about it, and it doesn't seem to be anything um, that is wrong with it. It's actually doing very very well. The red mushrooms are not growing as much as I want them to, but they are still growing and spreading, so that's fine. The Montipara is doing amazing as well. Um, you can't really see it with this camera, but the polyps are out. The Acropora has actually been growing um, a little bit, which is kind of cool. Um, the green star polyps are not opened fully right now, but it has been growing like crazy. It has spread um, along the back um, and things like that, so that's really good. Um, so future for this tank, um, I'm going to get um, a gobi, um, but I'm gonna wait till my um, favorite star will get some new saltwater fish. I'm gonna wait to for, uh, to them to have them kept for like three weeks or so. Um, after that, I would uh, like to buy um, a gobi, as I said, a large gobi that could sift around the sand. I would also like to have um, a, a what is it called? Um, uh, oh my god, why can't I remember that? Um, oh yeah, some more Nasarius snails. I only got one big Nasarius snail in here. I saw him here the other day. Um, and then I would like to get um, a, a blue tuxedo urchin um, because I want an urchin to take care of my algae problems. Um, and I'm gonna keep him fed with something. I'm always going to find a way of feeding them. It's kind of funny. Um, so. There's a little bit of, of coralline algae and hair algae and things like that that you can munch on. Um, and I've seen that they have some very small ones, um, so I will try to get those because they don't eat as much as the bigger ones do. And I think they're really beautiful, but I'm just gonna watch out for not being stinged by them because they kinda, they kinda hurt. Um, that is what I've heard at least. So, you know. Oh yeah, I'm going to make a little update on the shrimpy. Shrimpy shrimpy. He's doing fine too. I mean, he's uh, getting he's getting bigger. He's shedding like he I think he shed he molds like around like two times a month um, or so. Um, actually, this month he has molded four times, so he is going all wild with that molding. Funny enough, stop touching my Duncan. He doesn't like it. No, he's he's so evil. He's so evil. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to get a gobi, I'm going to get a sea urchin, you know, a blue tuxedo urchin. Um, and what I've else thought about getting is, you know, something um, like maybe two clownfish or a mandarin. I'll kind of find out what I will do. Um, I think two clownfish is what I'm going to start with, and then I'm going to wait a little bit before I can get a mandarin. But I will get a mandarin at some point, that is just how it is. So, um,. This is kind of all that I thought about getting, like... Um, so, the tank is doing very very well at the moment. Um, and I hope you guys uh, liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, like and rate and comment, etc. And, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, so see you guys in another video.